Right now, I'm heading to the mall because I somehow got my hands on an iPhone. I somehow got my hands on an iPhone 11 Pro Max, the new one. I'll tell you guys a story <laughs> later on, but I'm gonna go to the mall right now to see if it's actually true, like if I actually got one. And I'll tell you guys a story when I get back. Hello, you guys. I'm in a very good mood right now <laughs> because I got my hands on the new freaking iPhone. So I got the iphone 11 pro max i got the silver one i first of all i was i did not pre-order the phone you guys probably already heard this if you follow me on twitter i briefly tweeted about this so you might have already seen the story but originally i did not do a pre-order because when it came out i really could not decide if i really wanted it or not the three little cameras even though i was excited for the quality of the camera i just didn't like how it looked initially and then finally a week later i'm like you know what i do want to upgrade but then i couldn't decide if i wanted the 11 or the 11 pro max i am the most indecisive person ever like i've become so freaking indecisive i kept telling chris to just pick for me because i couldn't decide and then every time he would pick something i'd be like wait but why so anyways for the past three days i kept going on the apple website and like acting like i was gonna order it just to see like when it would ship out and it was telling me that it was going to ship out between October 14th and the 21st, which is four to five weeks away from today. And I was like, oh, that's so annoying. Like, I want it now. Like, I should have done the freaking pre-order. So whatever. I literally spent three days, like a psychopath, going on the Apple website, acting like I was going to order just to see if there were any changes to the shipping dates. Finally today, I was like, you know what? I'm going to order the damn phone. And that's that. So I go on the website once again i'm checking out it tells me it's gonna ship out october 14th whatever then all of a sudden next to where it says um shipping out it says unavailable at the store check other locations so i click on i clicked on check other locations and it said that the same one that i wanted but in a different uh memory was available at the apple store right next to me so initially i was going to get the one that had 256 uh megabytes of memory i think that's what you call it because that's what i had on my old phone and also i was like whatever i'll get the same thing it said that the same one the silver one was available at the apple store right me but the only thing was that the memory was greater it was the 512 um megabytes so i was like okay like i feel like if it would have been less memory i would have been like eh, i can't do that because i have i have a lot of stuff on my phone but since it was just the memory upgrade i was like okay so i went to the store and i got it i cannot believe that i got it there there are people tweeting me that they ordered like they pre-ordered it on the day of pre-order and they still haven't received their phones so i cannot believe that i skipped the pre-order but yeah i'm very excited i got my new iphone i still have to set everything up because when i got home i ate my lunch and i took maxi for a walk um he's literally sleeping on me right now i'm gonna show you guys but yeah i'm gonna set it up now and start using it very excited let me know if you guys got the iphone also i also got this phone case from the apple store which i'm kind of annoyed about because it's i feel like it's kind of overpriced but i did want a case for my phone um and i feel like my favorite online stores that i normally buy my iphone cases from they don't have cute ones yet like not even amazon has cute ones at the moment like i was checking and, I, and there's nothing that i liked so i just got this for now kind of annoyed it's overpriced but whatever although i do kind of like how it feels like this because the back is a frosted matte finish it feels a lot sturdier than my other iphones look at this angel sleeping on mama right, guys it's been a few days since i got the iphone and i shared on my instagram that i had picked up the new iphone and literally everyone keeps messaging me that they want me to just talk more about it like share if i really think it's worth it all that stuff so i decided to just dedicate this video to the iphone basically so that i can get those questions answered for you guys so i ended up getting the iphone 11 max pro in the silver color i also got the one that's 512 megabytes of memory which is kind of insane i was really just going to get the 256 but whatever i got the biggest memory I better not ever run out of memory look wise it is a really beautiful phone you guys i really love the look of it i always get the gold one but i wanted to switch it up and i don't know the gold one looked just so gold like yellow gold 
that I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it and I love the way that the white one well not the white one see I think I think it's right oh no wonder I'm trying to film my video what video about the iPhone this is so unprofessional oh you're a tech head already yep this yep. is my tech channel <laughs> Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Melissa Flores tech reviews. So yeah, I got the silver one Which I'm really glad I got the silver because to me it looks more white and the frosted back just gives it like this pearl look I don't know. I really like it. Spoiler alert. I Love this phone. I feel like everyone's question is it worth it because I'm thinking about getting it. Yes to me It's worth it like this is something that's gonna be very personal. Like not everyone's gonna agree. Like yes, it's absolutely worth it. This is just my opinion. I really love it. Half of my job is all social media and being on my phone and answering emails and doing all of that stuff and taking photos. So for me, it is absolutely worth it. This is the best iPhone I have purchased of all the iPhones. So previously to this phone, I had the 8 Plus. And for a limited time, I had the 10 when it was just like the smaller 10. And I ended up getting rid of the 10 and getting the 8 Plus instead because I missed having the bigger screen. And that was before the XS Max came out. And by the time that came out, I just stuck with my 8 Plus because I'm like, okay, I'm not going to like keep switching up my phone. It's not that serious. I got my big screen. I don't really care for the X Max. So I did have the 8 Plus before this one. Like two main things that I wanted to speak about from my opinion because I'm not a tech person. So if you want to watch like a techie review, go to someone's tech channel. But this is just coming from someone who is an influencer and runs her own business. This is where the phone review comes from um so photos and videos i definitely see an improvement in photos and videos this is the first time that i can actually notice a huge difference not even a little difference but a huge difference like the front facing camera you guys blows my mind the first day that i started posting on my instagram stories with the new iphone i got so many compliments and it literally is because of the camera because when i was posting the same kind of content that i always post but i feel like it looks so much more crisp and beautiful but soft at the same time it's not like a harsh kind of crisp it's just really beautiful quality the battery life blows my mind i only charge this phone at night and that is all and i'm on my phone all the time especially you know when you get a new phone you're just excited to be on it you're on it all the time that's how i've been for the past three days and the battery does not die it blows my mind like i am on my phone 24 7 basically like i have been using it non-stop like seeing all the new features and just excited to be on it and it doesn't like literally the battery just lasts every time i go to bed my battery is at the lowest it ever was was at 25 percent for the battery life and photos and videos alone this phone is 100 percent worth it We'll do a little screen record just so that you guys could see a little bit of a difference of like literally filming with my Canon camera and filming with the iPhone front facing camera as you guys can see. Since we're on the topic of the iPhone and I just wanted to keep this video all about the new iPhone, I figured I would do a quick little what's on my iPhone. I haven't done that in forever, but you guys were oddly requesting it. So I'm going to throw it in there. Okay, so this is the front of my iPhone. I feel like it just has all of the basic apps. We have iMessage, Calendar, Photos, Camera, and then I have my main social media at the second row, which are the apps that I always use. So I have my Twitter, my Snapchat, my Instagram. Should we go on Instagram really quick? If you're not following me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? We have so much fun on Instagram, so please go give me a follow. Let me know actually in the latest photo that I have when you watch this video, let me know that you're coming from this video and i will say hello to you okay then i have a folder called youtube and this is my folder for all things youtube i have the regular youtube app that comes with every phone i have youtube studio which is a really cool app that lets you manage your channel you can respond to comments from there which is how i always respond to comments you can see how your videos are doing from there um see analytics straight from that app so that's pretty cool and then I have Social Blade, which gives you also more analytics on your channel. And then the two It's Melissa Flores tabs are literally just my channel that I created so that if I wanted to see how it looks on a computer, I can just click on that link. But that's it. Then we have Weather Clock, a photography folder. Let's go in the photography folder, actually. So these are all of my photo apps. I do have other editing apps that we'll get to in the other pages, but 
Um, the first one is called Planoly, which I, I do pay for the service for Planoly because I use it all the freaking time. And we actually use it to manage my Instagram account as well as my the Sunday Energy Instagram account, which if you don't know, that is my jewelry collection. So go follow Sunday Energy also. <laughs> By the way, I'm wearing Sunday Energy right now. I have on my Forever Huggies and I have on my Evil Eye necklace. So Planoly is really cool because you can actually manage your Instagram feed. Um, you can pull straight from here and you can also manage multiple Instagram accounts, which is why I specifically use Planoly. I just like the layout. I re I've been using it for a few years and I really, really like it. So as you can see, um, the first two photos have a U at the upper left corner. That means that they have been unscheduled. Those and those photos aren't on my account. I just have it there to see how I was gonna look with my feed before I post it. So that is what I pretty much do before I post anything on my account. I will go on the Planoly app and just to see if the colors match, if it's gonna look right, because I don't like to post things that look too similar to each other back to back. So that helps me with that. And then they actually allow you to upload Instagram stories from there as well. So you can organize your Instagram stories. So that's pretty cool. Then we have Facetune, which is an app that I use to edit my photos, as well as Darkroom Retouch um, allows you to like edit out things. So like, let's say there was a picture frame right here and I hated how I looked. I could go into Retouch and just edit that out. We have Color Tone, which has filters. Visco has more filters, Lightroom as well. Those are the main ones that I always use. The rest, I don't really use, like the Huji one can give your photos like a Polaroid kind of look. About that, we have Kira Kira, which is the app that you can add like a lot of sparkles. Um, we have Color Story, Repost, Cooney Cam, and Afterlight. I don't use those. Like I probably used them in the past, but I just never use them anymore. So that's that. Oh, we have Story Art, which is hidden here. Let me bring it to the front. What is Story Art? Oh, I guess you can, oh, this is for Instagram Stories, I believe. But it looks like you need to sign up for it. Clearly, I have not used that app, so we're just gonna leave it there for now. Then we have Google Maps, um, Notes, Reminders, iTunes, Books, Settings, App Store Wallet, and we have the Daily Teachings app. This app, basically, I click on it every single day because every day you get a new Law of Attraction message. So as you can see on my screen now, today is September 25th, and we have a little message there. I like it because I like to start my day with something positive, so I always click on it in the morning or throughout, or throughout the day whenever I want a positive message, and I just read whatever the message is that day. This app, I believe I paid for. I've had this app for like five years that I, I literally just re every year I restarted and I think they have added new messages but yeah I love that app um, down at the bottom we have the basic apps that the phone comes with as well we have the phone icon mail Safari and um, Apple music the next page we have everything for the most part organized in folders the first folder I have a little phone icon because oh it's like different things for my phone I have Facebook which I have a private Facebook group if you are an influencer and you want to join the link to my private group is down in the bottom bar podcast I like to listen to my podcast Pinterest and the rest I don't really use um, clips like to know it I haven't posted on that for in forever um, and IGTV you can just post um, Oh, and I use IGTV to post IGTV videos to my Instagram. Then we have a lifestyle app, which has Audible. I listen to my books from Audible. Freaking love Audible so much. Um, Shazam is like, I think you guys know what Shazam is. Smart Life, I don't use. RoboKiller is an app that I use so like telemarketers can stop calling me. And it actually does work. So that's pretty cool. I did pay for it, but... It was because I was getting calls 24-7. <laughs> Amazon Alexa is the app that I use to control the Alexas that we have. And Apple TV, I don't have, so I don't use that app. I think it just came with the phone. Then we have a little laptop and photography folder here. Okay, so these are all like my camera apps. So we have the news app, which I, I guess I just threw in there. <laughs> the news app does not belong there. Asana is an app that I use with my management. Like whenever I have campaigns coming up, we kind of communicate with each other through there and we'll post like what the campaign guidelines are, deadlines, I can submit everything through there. So that's what that's for. You can use it in your workplace. I have Tiny Scanner, which allows me to scan things. Like whenever I have to scan contracts, if I don't do one digitally or whatever, I might need to scan any type of documents. I can do it right through there. I don't have to buy a scanner or go somewhere. 
And then the rest of the apps are basically like for my cameras. I have the Canon app. The imaging one I think is for my Sony camera. Um, the EOS remote is for my Canon DSLR camera. Dropbox, you can upload files through Dropbox. The one at the bottom called One Tap Receipts is something that I use to take photos of all of my receipts. I can also email the receipts to that app and that way when I do my taxes, I have all of my expenses in one place. So that's pretty helpful for me. Bitly is somewhere where you can like um, shorten a really long, what is it? Link to a website, <laughs> you can shorten it. Wow, I'm losing my mind. And then D, uh, DJI Mimo is an app to control the Osmo Pocket. I have the Osmo Pocket camera. So that's that. Then we have files, which is basically comes with the phone. Um, you can actually view your files from your laptop, which I think is really cool. Shortcut, I haven't even played around with that, so I'm not even going to get into it. Then I have a little shopping folder for my Amazon Ulta, Sephora, Groupon, Target, eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark closet. Those are like all my little shopping go-tos. The next folder is my workout folder. I have the activity thing, which I think works with my Apple Watch. Health, Fitbit, which I don't even know where my Fitbit is. I don't use it anymore. Weight Gurus, I think was an app that came with a scale that I purchased like forever ago. Daily app, I don't use that either. I'm gonna delete it. This is like app workouts, but it's a really old app. It's like so not updated. But um, I'm going to delete it right now because I just don't use it. Um, yeah. Then we have the LifeSum app. You can track whatever you're eating. I try to do that, but I always fall off. And then I have my Orange Theory app, which is the studio that I work out in. So I can see all the classes and book my classes right from the app. Then I made this folder called Extras, which is just extra stuff that the phone comes with. Everyone's iPhone comes with all that. Then I have a little money folder. I won't get into that because that's like all my bank stuff, but yeah. Um, the next one I have a little donut for, the next folder, and basically it's food ordering services and the movie theaters. So yeah, you guys can see it on there. It's just Yelp, Starbucks, Domino's, AMC Theater, Uber Eats, Whole Foods, Grubhub, and Postmates. I don't know why I have the Whole Foods app. I don't think I need it. Next, I um, have a little TV icon. I have my T-Mobile app, uh, my insurance, HBO, and Netflix. Um, then I have a games folder, which I don't even know why I have this folder because I don't use these games. Um, I pretty much like using Sudoku um, or the card game sometimes, but I like never play with that. I actually like to play word games, which I have on my iPad. Maybe I should show you guys, what, we're not gonna do that today, but I like to play word games. I know that sounds so boring, but I like to play either Sudoku or like word games on my iPad. I feel like it's more fun on the iPad because the screen is bigger. Anyways, then I have a little phone app which ha I put FaceTime in there and then I have WhatsApp. I use WhatsApp all the time to speak to my family in the Dominican Republic or if I ever travel outside of the country, it's free to text and call in that app. So that's pretty cool actually um pages oh my god i have the kimoji app wow that was from a long time ago but pages i just put all the apps that the iphone comes with as well so that's just random plus kimoji is that still a thing i don't know i have a little plane folder which basically has like my traveling stuff so i have like uber and lyft in there i have expedia like different kind of apps that's traveling kind of i don't know why i did air quotes yeah it's traveling traveling apps i don't know <laughs> Um, oh, the next app is my little magical app. So in here I have Deluxe Moon, which gives me like all the information on what like the moon, all the phases of the moon. It lets me know when there's a new moon, where when there's a full moon. I like to know that stuff. The Stone app, I think this is like where you can see all the different crystals. Yeah, so if you want to learn more about crystals, the Stone app is really cool because you can um, see photos of the crystals, see what they mean, what kind of energy they give off. So that's pretty cool. The CoStar app is also really um, cool. It's like astrological, like you can do your birth chart here, which I have to redo since I got, you know like when you get a new phone and it signs you out of everything, I have to re-sign in, but it's making me, I feel like it's making me create a new account. So I don't know, I have to go back in there, but basically you can do your birth chart and know more about your, 
about yourself other than just like what your main sun sign is so yeah i gotta go back in there and do that and then i also you can also connect with your friends in there and see their birth chart so that's pretty cool the pattern okay the pattern is such a cool app which i think i have to re-sign in as well yeah i knew it because i hadn't been getting my messages the pattern is really cool it's like you answer a few questions and then this app literally knows you like I don't know how to explain it. You just gotta go on the app. It just knows everything about you. Maxi, do not start. The app. The app knows everything about you. Just check it out. It's so crazy. I have to resign. I'm glad I'm doing this because I have to resign into these accounts, but it is so wild how the app knows you. Next app that I have, not in a folder, is called Things. And the reason I downloaded this was because I remember my reminders app didn't sync in with my apple watch and whenever i would be out i would like to like check things off on my apple watch so i remember downloading things because it did sync in with my watch and now i feel like i never check it on my apple watch anyways <laughs> then i have this bella fit workout so if you guys do not follow fit by bella she is amazing this is her summer body shaper guide i have many of her guides i think i have almost all of her guides but they're pretty amazing if you want to do a home workout or if you want a guide to follow at the gym check her out her instagram is literally fit by bella so i have that on my phone because when i do a home workout i can just pull it up on my phone then i have this little app here with a disc oh these are my instagram stories apps that i use so these three apps they're pretty similar unfold story lux and stories edit those are the apps i use when i want to make my instagram stories a little bit more fun so check those out um next page okay so the next page we have a little heart folder and in here we have we have different okay like i have like my period tracking apps i have um, Headspace and Calm, which are the apps that I use for meditating. Um, I feel like they're like my girly me apps. Like, I don't know. Next, we have a video folder, which I have. I don't really use this all that much. And then the last one called Filto. I haven't used that at all. Um, but these are just different apps that you can create fun videos. Like, make your videos look a little bit more fun. Measure is something that all the iPhones come with. The next folder is called SE, which stands for Sunday Energy. Those are just like... I guess like documents that I wanted to save that I could go back to in regards to Sunday energy. I'm almost done, babe. Or do you not care? Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm doing um what's on my iPhone. Okay, he doesn't care. All right. So the next app is called Ship Station. That's something that I use for um, Sunday energy as well, like to ship all of the orders. Tube Buddy, I never use. I don't know i was watching a video that recommended it like i guess it helps with your youtube channel but i never use i probably have to go back into it again um we have the apple store app which i think is new i think the iphone now comes with the apple store app and then i have three wedding related apps the knot wedding spot and wedding wire my friend told me to download all of these apps do not ask me what they're about because i haven't even clicked on them you heard babe <laughs> Elva, Elva texted me like all the apps I should download for wedding planning and tell me if I've ever clicked on them. Oh my God. I am the worst bride. Do you still want to marry me? I don't know. Not after that. Think about it. I should probably look at the wedding apps. I don't know if we want to ever get married. I should probably look at them. But that was everything that was on my iPhone, you guys. Wow, I haven't done a what's on my iPhone in years. Do you want to do a what's on your iPhone? Me? No. no. <laughs> Your iPhone's boring. I'm just kidding. He probably has a lot of cool apps that I don't know about. I really don't. It's just basic. A lot of stuff from for work and stuff. True. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little fun since I added the what's on my iPhone portion. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.